is the week of April 10th, 2018. My name is Candace. And I'm Ani. Welcome, Welcome to, to your TNN. TNN. Last month, di dozens of different dinosaur footprints were found on a Scottish island. They are at least 170 million years old. They, and they are clues to a lost era. Most of the footprints were left by a long neck sauropods that stood up to seven feet tall. Many of the footprints are difficult to see because of coastal erosions, but two identifiable pathways of several single footprints were discovered. They are from the Middle Jurassic Age, a time that fossil evidence is hard to come by, which makes this find even more significant. Phoenix firefighters rescued a 50-year-old man from a storm drain on, on early last week. He reportedly became trapped and, begin and began calling for help from passing students. A group walking home from school heard the man yelling as they passed the, the elevated portion of an underground irrigation box on Roser Road east of 7th Street. Firefighters saw water in the irrigation box and were able to hear the man but could not see him. Other crews began opening nearby manhole covers on the Roser Road and found the man walking through the tunnels. The man was able to communicate with the firefighters and climbed out um, on his own after the firefighters lowered a ladder down the manhole. He was not injured. Phoenix police were investigating why he was in the storm drain and how he got there. Let's go over to Ms. Burton with, with some special announcements. Good morning, students and staff. This is a very exciting week because today is the very first day of AZ Merit writing testing for third through eighth grade. Please, please try your best. You're going to do fantastic, I have no doubts. This is the last week for after school clubs, so please thank your teachers and facilitators because this will be your very last week of the school year. We will have many new clubs for you to sign up for next year at Meet the Teacher Night. On Wednesday, we do have an early release early release day, so that's tomorrow. We do um, dismiss at 12, excuse me, 11 o'clock. Um, teachers, please make sure you sign up for the potluck that we will be having at 11.15 if you have not done so, and we also have a staff meeting during that time. On Wednesday, students, on the early release day, we do have a Peter Piper fundraiser night from 4 to 7 p.m. There will be a class contest. The class that has the most participation with their teacher attending will receive a pizza party. So please make sure you are there. You can also pick up food and take it home if you don't have time to stay. That goes for teachers and students. On Thursday, there will be lunch provided by GCU for the teachers from 1030 to 1 in the lounge and Friday is another hat day for the cancer fundraiser. It's one dollar to wear a hat. Please participate if possible. And last but not least on Saturday, all three of our Odyssey of the Mind teams will be going to the state finals in Tucson, so please wish them good luck. Again, please try your best on testing today. And then next week you will have ELA, math, and science testing. You can do it. Have a great week. Thank you, Ms. Burton. Now let's go over to Eric and Key Arthur with Entertainment News. Hi, my name is Eric. And I'm Key Arthur. Welcome to Entertainment News. This week we'll be talking about some, some more Fortnite. The new updates and news for Fortnite are here, such as a vending machine so you can buy any weapons you want and you play with. you have to pay with wood. Epic Games is going to throw a meteor at Silta Towers every single game you play every day on Fortnite. Many of you have heard Mr. Wizard, our TNN, TNN teacher, is a boss at this game. He has over 42 wins, so someday ask him to play with you, and you will get your wins up and get a lot better at the game. Strek 5 has been announced. Rumors have it, the movie will be released in the year 2019. The team that is in charge of the films aims to create as many as four Shrek movies a year. The team says it will completely reinvent the series. So far, the plot is unknown, but we can expect to learn about it in the coming months. That's all for entertainment news. See you next time. Thank you, Eric and Kiarthor. Here's Ben with Fun Fact Live. Welcome back to Fun Fact Live. I'm Ben, and today we have Candace from Miss Hansen's sixth grade class. 
Okay, Candace, we have three facts. Guess which one is right. A, Scott Kelly has the record for longest time in space. B, the first digital camera was invented on April 4th, 1972. Or C, the penny was invented in 1889. You have 10 seconds. Guess which one is right. Okay, welcome back. What do you think it is? Uh, A. Mm, the correct answer is B. The first digital watch was invented on April 4th, 1972. Get yourself back together. Come back next week for more Fun Fact Live. Thanks, Ben. Here's Khalil with Name That Thing. Hi, I'm Clo. Welcome to Name That Thing. Last week's winners were Aiden, Kendall, and Aliyah from 6th grade, and Daniel and Sebastian from 4th grade, with the correct guess of an ocarina. This week's item is from the game series Portal. This acts as a cube that can weigh down buttons and help you get around. Put your answer in the link below, or email Mr. Wister, and we'll see you on the news next time. Thanks, Claire. Let's go over to Ashton and Taylor with Joke of the Week. Welcome back to Joke of the Week. My name is Ashton. And I am Taylor. This week we have Maddox from Miss Denny's fourth grade class. All right, what's your joke? Oh, uh, how you wake up late, Gaga. How? how? You poke her face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. If you would like to be on the news, have your teacher email Mr. Whistler or click the link below. That's all for this week. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thanks, girls. Now let's go over to Hannah with Weird News. Hello, welcome back to Weird News. My name is Hannah. Usually gorillas walk on all fours, and when they decide to walk on two legs, they usually take a couple steps and fall down to the ground. But a special gorilla at the Philadelphia Zoo has changed that for him. Luis, a 16-year-old male gorilla who walks on two legs, keeps his snacks to, to, to keep his snacks and his hands clean. That's not the, the only reason why he's special. Whenever a rainstorm happens and he steps in a puddle, he gets a nearby leaf and cleans his hands and feet. The workers made him a bridge to keep him from walking in puddles. That's all for Weird News this week. See you next time. Thanks, Hannah. Natalia's back with her Tesso teasers. <laughs> My name is Natalia, and welcome to Tartesso Teasers. There were many winners for last week, but the first five were Bryce Clayton from 7th grade, Elena from 4th grade, Kayla from 3rd grade, Cheyenne also from 3rd grade, and Katie from 7th. This week's teaser is, imagine that you are in a boat in the middle of the sea. Suddenly, you are surrounded by hungry sharks just waiting to feed on you. How can you put an end to this? If you know the answer, go to the link below. See you next time on TNN. This, this Wednesday is early release. This Thursday is the last day to get your candy and talkies from Girls of Code. Kick Pops are Wednesday. PTO will be selling candy on Friday. Let's go over to Jackson with Quote of the Week. Hi, my name is Jackson. Welcome to Quote of the Week. This week's quote is by NF or other known as Nathan Feuerstein. The quote is, everybody wants change, but nobody wants to change. This quote makes me think that real change starts with yourself. You can set the example for a change you want to see in the world. That's all for Quote of the Week. See you next time. Thanks, Jackson, and remember to do your best on testing all this week. That's all for TNN. See you next time.